So, okay, <laughs> these are the results, the data. Because you remember I was going for like a 70% reduction and I had certain uh, values I was after on the uh, loads. So this is what we did with the airflow levels of the four houses. So we basically, we took, our best was like uh, from 18 and a half ACH 50 uh, down to uh, five, uh, 4.8 I think it was. So we definitely tightened the houses. We were able, that's the combination of the thermal ply, the rigid, taping the joints, um, window bucks, air sealing. There's their usage uh, last winter. I'll, I have some data from this first month, but November was pretty warm, pretty mild. But basically what this shows is the electrical loads, they pretty much stay constant. In fact, some of them went up a little bit. Uh, when you see November 9, November 10, obviously, November 10 is the, the, the data after. Uh, the houses were all up functioning and done by January. So in December, it, it's, it's just the average of, I think, two houses. One, from January onward, it's the average of all four houses. So we got decent reductions in MMBTU uh, overall. Um, very, very much uh, reduced. Electric energy, you'll remember the, one of the first charts I showed the bar graph there. I can't control plug load. I can't control you know, what they bring into these houses. Um, what happens typically from a behavioral standpoint is when people start saving in one area, they go buy more other stuff. So we, <laughs> we, might, we might use less natural gas, but gee, we could get another TV or another laptop. <laughs> so, we can't control that, but um, what I wanted to show in my work was we, we can control the load because that's, that's, that's the biggest part of the, the building. Uh, normalized to heating degree days for Utica. So Utica was about uh, 6,000 heating degree days. Um, it, it actually rose between 09 and 010. So if you put a dollar value on that MMBTU graph, we saved like 50 to 100, so 40 MMBTU, so $4,000 uh, on the four houses, just in the gas. And here's the costs, uh, along with like some data on the houses, the, the age, how big they were. Uh, DRP34 is the two-family house, so basically that gets the benefit of some scale. Um, deferred maintenance issues, that's a lot of the cost of this deep retrofit. Because when we go to the houses, we have to fix a lot. Anything we discover that is faulty, we have to correct it. So uh, electrical panels, one of the houses had a 60 amp service with five circuit breakers feeding the house. I mean, it's not, we're, we're, uh, we're criminals if we left that on the wall and did the work we did. So we upgraded their service to 150 amp, new panels, more breakers, a little bit of, you know, electrician was in there doing wiring. Um, the, the houses with the backflow preventers, that's included in there. Storm drains, we had to have, deal with that. Um, lead paint. Uh, when we had lead paint, we had to hire a lead abatement. I mean, most of the contractors are certified in having to deal with that, but that was added cost. They have to, you know, drape the whole site with tarps and vacuum cleaners and a um, lot of deferred maintenance in, in, in the housing stock that we were, this was, this was low income housing stock. So these, these houses haven't gotten a lot of attention uh, over, over time. I mean, the people, they, they pretty much live in it and pay the bills the best they can. Um, I dare say going more into a market rate uh, housing stock, it's likely that you would not have as many deferred maintenance issues uh, to deal with, but it, 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 there'll be some. I mean, you got to, uh, you, you, it's, it's the time that you're fixing the house with the energy work that you, 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 you bring the rest of it up. So it's, it's, that's why we use the word retrofit. It's way more than a renovation. Um, it, it's way more than uh, like a, um, an adjustment. So some of the numbers, I mean, actually, 
what I did was I took this and then I put a dollar per square foot cost, shell square foot cost, and that's what gave me the intelligence to spark the next program that I'm doing right now. Basically, it, it cost $18 a square foot to take these houses to this. A siding contractor, if you look at what he does, he's usually in the range between $7 and $12 a, a square foot, uh, what he charges. And that's applying vinyl siding all the way to Lake Cedar. So in order for this hypothesis of mine to work, if I truly want to turn this work into an opportunity that gets delivered by, say, a siding contractor, because he's the one that's at the house when some of these opportunities lend themselves to that, we have to drive the costs down. And that's what the solicitation that I've funded recently is trying to do. We're trying to come up with more material solutions that when we, when, we, when we strip the siding down to the sheathing, we come back with one piece of something that's got the window buck, the flashing, the furring, the insulation, and the air barrier, per se. And uh, it's, we got some really interesting proposals. I funded six of them, and they're, uh, we're, we're in contract stages right now. By next spring, we should have uh, all of those projects uh, underway. Great, so it's $18 a square foot is four. No, nope, linear, linear uh, wall. That's, that's all six sides of the house. If I treat the house as a shoebox, oh, that's basically what it costs me to, to do everything I just showed you. It's $18 a shell square foot. So, um, and, and that number is, uh, is, is not approachable in, in current market conditions. Uh, well, I, I, I cannot. I, siding is, uh, uh, vinyl siding is $7 a square foot. Right. That seems like a pretty good buy. Yeah, yeah, but it's, but it's taken that, that, that guy right now that's only trained, when he goes to the job site to do vinyl siding, he has a couple of toolboxes with him. You can see what's involved with what he would have to ramp up to to do this kind of work. So that's the bridge we, we want to build. Um, and more data, which I'll get from this next round of solicitations, Will 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 help to um, will help to move this um, move this down. I mean, the solar industry, without tax incentives, without rebates, uh, without tax credits, 25 years ago, this work is actually more cost effective than solar. And solar has a 25 year life, at, with the panels, the inverter, uh, ice damage, um, you know. In, improper installations, inverter losses, all that. These, these are passive solutions. Uh, that I don't think the insulation will, we will wear out in 25 years. So um, luckily, I work at a place where my management believes that I can uh, at least walk out on this plank and try to drive these costs down and make this more visible. Uh, this is a perfect opportunity of the visibility of this, showing it to people. Um, we're not there. We're not there yet by any means, but the goal is to pick away at it and uh, make, it, um, make it a solution. Is that group willing to take um, you know, some responsibility for the money to do a job like this? Or oh, I, I paid for every cent of this. Yeah. It, it, and I'm, I just doled out $1.7 million to these six contractors to do the next batch. And they're going to do, on average, they're each going to do four houses. So we're going to get 24 more houses. Uh, and I'm pushing them to drive the cost down. They have to demonstrate to me that they, they meet those bogeys that I want, but they also drive the cost. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for 10 to 14 10 to $12 per shell square foot. And they need to show me that. I'm trying. I'm trying. I've got six contractors. I've got six contractors that are uh, uh, they're um, they're going to work throughout New York State, and I'm uh, working hard with them to try to get uh, a couple of the projects to come into this region. Uh, in this project, there will be cost share. I mean, we're expecting the homeowner to put maybe ten, twelve thousand dollars on the table. But if they were going to reside their house or they were going to change their heating system, they're probably in that in that ballpark anyway. 
So, uh, so if a house were to meet the criterion that you set out, that might be a house that you would yep. consider? Yep. That's kind of up to the, it yeah, it's up to the contractor and our screening. Again, I can't pick this. I mean, we're, I mean, they'll accuse me of taking my brother-in-law's house to do this. I mean, we, I have to create a fair, uh, a fair platform. Yeah, it'll be, uh, they'll be, they're, they're recruiting. They're going to be re recruiting. Um, so there's my contact information, and um, I'm open to questions. And it's pretty good time, right? What time?